This is the weekend edition of iFiber One News, where we present some of the top stories from this week and your weekend weather forecast. For iFiber One News, I'm Roger Adelson. From the iFiber One HD studio here in the heart of the Columbia Basin, this is iFiber One News. Your number one source for local news, sports headlines, and our very own weather center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. This is iFiber One News, and it starts now. One of our top stories for this week was Time Out Pizza's second Seahawks rally. For iFiber One News, here's Cody Johnson. I'm Cody Johnson with iFiber One. I'm down here at Time Out Pizza. They've been selected for the second straight week as one of the official Seahawks fan rally points in Washington State. All right, I'm with two of the Seagals. We've got Zoe and Sunrose. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Of course, of course. We're really happy to be here. You can see people gathering behind you. They've, they are, you have a lot of fans here tonight. We're so excited to be here. Hi, guys, how are we doing? <laughs> Is this your first trip to Efreda? It is our first trip. It's our first. Trip. It's great to be back on the eastern side. I'm actually from eastern Washington, so happy to be here. <laughs> All right. Now, I have to ask you, you guys were there when the 12th man set the world record for crowd noise. What was that like? You know, the energy was absolutely incredible. I mean, I, I swear, I think Zoe and I probably couldn't hear for like the next two days. Yeah. And even up until now. The sound, I mean, it showed up on the Richter scale for as an earthquake. Former uh, Seahawk linebacker Brian Flonis. Brian, thank you for taking a minute with me. I know you got a long line of people waiting to get your autograph. Yeah, this place is crazy. This is a great Seahawk rally. It's a, probably an example for the rest of the state. I bet nobody in a small tent like this is going to get a turnout like this. But you were actually the very first player that was taken by the team from a walk-on open tryout. Yes, I was. Yep. Yeah, it was the first uh, open, they don't do it anymore, but it was anybody off the street and come in, and I didn't get picked up as a free agent out of, out of uh, college because I played nose guard, and I was, you know, 220 pounds. I wasn't big enough as a defensive lineman, so what my, uh, my coach at WSU said, hey, go, try, go to this tryout and see what, what happens. I went to the tryout, tried out. There was 300 people there. Or I was selected to go. They gave me, a, they gave me an opportunity to go to training camp and the uh, rest was history. Yeah, I was the first one ever. Now, I also, uh, I had to do some research on this, but your very first preseason game was against the 49ers, and you had some unbelievable numbers, 17 yeah. tackles and uh, two sacks. Yeah, actually it was the third game, but uh, there was. It was 17 tackles, two sacks, a cost fumble on a kickoff return. And at, uh, going into our last game of preseason, I was, was a leading tackler uh, for tackles and sacks on the team. I'm Cody Johnson with iFiber One from the official Seahawks rally point here in eastern Washington, Time Out Pizza. You know, it's always going to be a tough fight, but you know what? Who's going to come on top? It's going to be us. Seahawks. Go, Go Hawks. Hawks. Go Hawks! <laughs> The church and Moses Lake held a celebration in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Here's Courtney Vasquez with that story. That one day my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. The life and legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. lives on in the Moses Lake community. The president of the Martin Luther King Committee, Charlie Jones, says they've celebrated King's birthday for almost 30 years now. Through speeches, singing, and dancing, they reflect on the peace and equality seen throughout the area. This is part of Moses Lake. Moses Lake is a melting pot of America. We've brought all qualities and kinds of people into this community and we have molded us together. Children gave examples of anti-bullying, reminding others to stand up for what's right. Community members were also reminded to join together to help one another. The city of Moses 
Lake and you're just traveling along the way, or you're at Walmart or wherever you're at, um, a lot of times if you just stop sometimes and give the person that I'm passing just a smile, a smile goes a long way. So I would encourage Moses Lake to continue to show that smile because your smile can help somebody else out along the way. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday is on January 15th. He would have been 85 this year. For i Fiber One News, I'm Courtney Vasquez. We'll be right back after this. DQ Five Buck Lunch. I'm really into it. One thing I can't decide. Is it chicken strips, fries, and a drink with a free Sunday, or do you get a Sunday with free chicken strips, fries, and a drink? Trick question. Both answers are correct. Exactly, Sam. It's Fanonomics. Entree, fries, drink, plus a Sunday. The five buck lunch, only at your DQ. This is fan food, not fast food. Hey, how do you TDM? Fish taco. Chicken burrito. No, 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 uh, chicken taco. I mean, I want fire on my burrito. I want jalapenos. I want habanero sauce. I want it hot, hot, hot. Rice, beans, lettuce, tomato, and that is it. I like nachos. I like nachos. Two pork tacos with creamy chipotle sauce, and make it a combo. Love fish tacos. Gotta be fresh, gotta be fast, gotta be to go, gotta get out of here. Stop by today and TDM with our new creamy chipotle sauce. Well, hi there, everybody. Meteorologist Don Morelli with you here on i Fiber Channel 1 News, our weather forecast. Overnight tonight through the weekend brought to you by Bud Cleary Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. Have a little difficulty still during the morning hours through the weekend with some fog and maybe some freezing drizzle at times in some areas. And we try to break out during the afternoon and evening. So the status quo continues with this air stagnation advisory. Again, the stable air mass in place, not changing probably until the weekend so we'll watch for some freezing drizzle and then also possibly with a change of a pattern maybe some moisture coming in on monday tuesday maybe a little light snow in the meantime 36 degrees the afternoon high today 30 was the morning low we had a little bit of freezing drizzle at times in and around the vicinity making it for a rather slick Morning drive in some areas, the afternoon brightened up a bit. 36 degrees and 30, the extremes in Moses Lake. Same story with the low clouds. Not as much freezing drizzle, but there was some. 35 degrees currently, and we're looking at 27 degrees. A few breaks out there, but the clouds will be coming right on back. In fact, the past 24 hours, you see the clouds in the vicinity. And during the morning hours, they reform again. Uh, again. Uh, Elsewhere throughout much of the western United States, western Canada, it's not too bad as high pressure really is covering much of the region. It's just these persistent low clouds that we've had to deal with. And here we are again in the morning hours. It tries to fall apart during the afternoon. Hopefully a little bit more sun on Saturday. But then again on Sunday we see clouds coming on in during the morning hours. But what's happening Sunday night, Monday, ooh, look at that coming in from the coast. That could be greeting us towards the start of the work week with some precipitation and change the stagnant air mass just a bit. Out west for our Saturday, heading out towards the coast, 40s and 50s with sunshine. Inland northwest, variable clouds with a few snow showers in the mountains here in the Columbia Basin. Let's zoom on in and see what we have in store for you. Again, hopefully we see a little bit more sun than we have been seeing. Mid to high 30s will be the rule, and that's just about where we should be, maybe a few degrees warmer than where normally we should be, which is again around 35, 36 or so. You can see the temperatures are above normal for the time being, but the overnight low is pretty chilly in the 20s. And at least through the weekend, maybe even into Monday, the development of morning clouds and some fog will be the rule. And with temperatures below freezing, freezing fog is a possibility, maybe in some freezing drizzle. Might end up warming up a bit during Tuesday, and that's when the moisture comes on in that we might have our better chance of some showers. Well, hopefully you have a great weekend, everybody. Keep it here on iFiber Channel 1 News. Sports is now on the table. Coming up next. It's a fact. Toyota offers 10 different vehicles with available four or all-wheel drive. So when roads are a challenge, we have your answer with great limited-time savings, including the best-selling RAV4. Right now, with APR financing as low as 0%. Or go for the larger Highlander with a 1,000 cash back or the same 0% APR. Both ready to take you down winter's toughest roads. Discover Toyota's four and all-wheel drives for yourself. Visit any of your Inland Empire Toyota dealers today. Toyota, let's go places.
Did you know that Little Chief's Child Care is expanding their Juniper Street location? This great new place across from Moses Lake Clinic is designed just for preschool and school-aged children. For over eight years, Little Chief's kids like me have found the love and attention every child needs to be healthy and happy. The grown-ups there have gone to college so they know how to make sure kids from 1 month to 12 years old have a great place to learn and play. Come join our growing Little Chief's tribe. Our next story is about an errand running business in Ephrata. Here's Jeff Chu with the story. Scott Paul loves to help people, so much so that he and his wife Misty have started up a new business, Ephrata Errand Runners. Just a working man. I've got a family of five, been married to my beautiful wife Misty Paul for 10 years. Um, as far as work goes, I've done a little bit of everything from construction, uh, road construction. I've worked at Burger King a little bit. Um, done some welding, just a little bit of everything, kind of a jack of all trades. Born and raised in Afreda, Scott already performs odd jobs for those who can't do them. He explained how the business came about. Just honestly a lack of work. I have my uh, mother-in-law is about 77, so we do a lot of chores for her and a couple gentlemen we know that are a little, you know, elderly and um, just doing little things for him. We haven't been able to find work, so my wife one day was like, should we try this? I was like, why not? Let's give it a shot. What exactly will Afraid of Aaron Runners do? Anything um, from grocery shopping, uh, cleanup, from inside your house, outside of your house, um, small house repairs. Uh, we can drive you places, um, walk your dog, take your dog to the groomer, um, give you a ride from wherever if you have a little too much to drink. Um, just any, I mean, it's limitless the things we can do. Afreda resident Linda McAllister is one of those already using Afreda Aaron Runner's services. Even before he started doing this, I, you know, I call him up. I can't. Uh, I'm just partially disabled, so, you know, I have a hard time doing a lot of stuff. And I can just give him a call, and man, he if he's not busy, he's there, you know. And it, it doesn't matter what it is, whether it's to help me move a tree or help me put some boxes out in my storage or right now <laughs> he, um, I've got an appointment with him because my grandson's bed broke and I can't fix it on my own. So, you know, he's going to come and fix it for me. She said Scott is reliable and enjoys helping others. No, on top of that, he's a really good guy. <laughs> you know, he's a sweetheart. I mean, how many people do you know that just will do this, you know? And, and enjoy it. You know, he enjoys helping people. And now if he can make a living at it, a business at it, then heck, more power to him. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. We'll be right back after this. Um... Ombudsman? Opsiman? No matter how you say it, Washington State's long-term care ombudsman program means real people helping real people. By advocating on behalf of our state's most vulnerable citizens, ombudsmen help ensure the health, safety, and welfare of our long-term care residents. By volunteering their time, they give a powerful voice to those who might never be heard. Washington State's long-term care ombudsman program. Real people helping real people. Doc, your run clock's here, but our network is down. What do you want me to do? I just noticed. Call JL Computers. He's probably already on it. Computer systems and networks are not only vital to doing business, they are often the key to efficiency and profitability. At JL Computers, we offer continuous monitoring of your system and provide immediate support when something goes wrong. Call today and talk to our certified technicians about your needs. Our next story is about the Moses Lake Chambers Business Expo, and reporter Jeff Chu has the story. It was a tropical party Tuesday night with 58 vendors packed into the ATEC building at Big Bend Community College for the annual Moses Lake Chamber of Commerce Business Expo. The more than 20-year-old event with this year's theme, Jump In, Make a Splash, helped people learn more about businesses operating in Moses Lake and Grant County. 
Initially we did it because we have a program called Business After Hours that roves around to different businesses each month, but every business doesn't necessarily have a big enough space to host it because it draws about 150 people. So this is an opportunity for those smaller businesses to come together, kind of co-op, and showcase their businesses. And initially it was limited to just chamber members could come and attend. Uh, we've opened it up to the general public so they can come. Um, so we're encouraging a B2B interaction as well as interactions with potential consumers. Some 700 attendees swarmed into the expo that featured locally made wine and beer, plus a food bar laid out by community college vendor Sodexo. Duran Martinez said the popular event draws a wide variety of vendors. I want to check out a business. The Better Business Bureau is here. We also have business networking groups. We, you can donate blood. <laughs> the blood blank is here. Um, and then we have financial, accounting, um, you name it, we have it here. Insurance, health, fitness, it's here. George Stevenson, owner of fitness systems vendor The Health Zone in Moses Lake, demonstrated the T-Zone medical vibration technology, which literally vibrates off the pounds. Exposure, we're, we're part of the, uh, the chamber, and this is one of the things that for the business after hours, and it's just getting the word out there of how easy it is to get motion into your body, exercise, because you don't realize how much you're doing, and creating all your muscles to expand and contract, you're creating more circulation, better flexibility, and you know that old saying, a body in motion tends to stay in motion. Miss Moses Lake Roundup Queen Heather Fleming was on hand to promote two upcoming events. I'm here at the Expo to represent the Moses Lake Roundup and to sell tickets for the Embracing a Cure. Embracing a Cure, it is funds going to, through Swim Across America and it is going to go to all of our local hospitals, Wenatchee, Moses Lake and OMAC for cancer research, specifically breast cancer awareness. Eastern Washington Better Business Bureau representative Morgana Walker was sharing business advice at her booth. We process roughly 5,000 complaints a year and we take about 1,500 uh, customer reviews a year as well. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. We'll be right back. Six years ago, my dad began having issues with headaches, sore throats, and constant fatigue. He tried treating the problem with over-the-counter medications and lots of caffeine. Finally, he talked to his doctor who confirmed our suspicions. Dad had sleep apnea. He didn't like the idea of using a CPAP, but after trying it one night, he was convinced. We found everything he needs for a much better quality of life at in-home medical. Let's go back to where Better Ingredients, Better Pizza first began. Road, Road trip. trip. Wow, 1984. Let's celebrate. Celebrate 30 years of Papa John's. Get a large one-topping pizza for just 30 cents when you buy any large pizza at regular menu price. 30 cent pizza, now that's pretty cool. This is what's cool. No, that's just wrong. Stick to Better Ingredients. Better Pizza? Papa John's. Papa John's. Please. The next story is about Grant County's point-in-time homeless count. And here's Jeff Chu with the story. Anybody home? They are Grant County's invisible people, the homeless. And they might go unnoticed and forgotten if not for the annual point-in-time count conducted by caring volunteers. Three volunteers combed the streets of Afreda today, part of the homeless count throughout the county and the U.S. Two volunteers focused on Soap Lake, while about 30 others surveyed the homeless in Moses Lake, Quincy, Warden, and all other Grant County population centers. The count is an opportunity to survey the homeless for data that supports federal funding to help those wandering the streets without permanent addresses. Like around the country, Grant County's homeless people live in cars, abandoned sheds and buildings, parks, even in makeshift shelters under highway bridges. It's not a good life, especially with temperatures dipping in the 20s overnight this time of year. Those who reach out to churches for help get temporary shelter in motels. 
Moses Lake farmer Craig Duvall, who also volunteers at the Moses Lake Food Bank, joined the Afraid of Homeless Count team on Thursday. We check, uh, we check the motels and check the churches, and, and then we go out and, and check underneath the bridges and stuff like that. And it really depends on the weather. Uh, if, if the weather is uh, uh, cold, then they're pretty hard to find. I, I learned to uh, talk to the churches because they really know where they are, and they help them. In a, you know, in a, in a small way, but we're just there to, uh, you know, make their day a little better today. The Afreda team discovered recent signs of life, pots of partially cooked food indicating that a family with children was living in a decrepit shed at an abandoned Afreda lumber yard. They also came across boarded up trailer homes without utilities that showed people were living there. The team found a sheltered homeless person living in a beat-up recreational vehicle at Afreda's Walmart parking lot. As part of the point-in-time homeless count, the team asked prepared survey questions of the woman in her 40s. She said she was waiting to visit her boyfriend in Grant County Jail. The team gave her bags of hygiene and food items. They also gave her gas money so she could travel to Moses Lake for any assistance she might need. Nicole Cedillo with New Hope Domestic Violence Services in Moses Lake and Lupe Hernandez, a community ambassador with St. Martin's Episcopal Church in Moses Lake, searched Soap Lake for the homeless. Cedillo said homelessness is an issue that needs to be reckoned with and not forgotten. Being homeless is very sad and a lot of people don't like to talk about it. They like to keep it, you know, kind of like they don't like to talk about domestic violence, but um, Homeless is out there, and people need help. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. That wraps up our weekend edition. iFiber One News will be back on Monday at 5 p.m. with the latest news from around the Columbia Basin. Thank you for watching, and go Seahawks!